appreciate that information. And Cheryl Tan is here to bring us some information that a lot of parents will appreciate too as they there's a growing number of parents facing this particular issue. So true. Many more parents in recent years are banding together to support their autistic children. According to the CDC, 1 in 110 kids in the U.S. are diagnosed on the autism spectrum, which is a 600 percent increase over the past two decades. Auto autism is treatable, that's the good news, but in this day and age, the cost for that care has to be part of the discussion, and parents are looking for any way to include as much treatment as a budget will allow. One mother turned to a nonprofit organization for help in today's What's Your Problem? That's me. That is. I see Tristan. I see Miss Ashley. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. My son, when he first started coming here, when you would say hi, Tristan, wouldn't say anything back to you, would just kind of look through you. Now, he'll look at you and he'll say hi. I mean, that is a huge step for us. The orange one, I don't know if I have the orange one, but we'll see. Step by step, four-year-old Tristan is taking his cues from Ashley, a tutor at the Mayalofa Autism Support Center in Chesapeake, or MASK, where children learn through a method called Applied Behavioral Analysis. What did I get? The Applied Behavioral Analysis Method is a pretty simple one, and it can work on any child, a sibling, a spouse even, where you increase positive behavior, decrease negative behavior. Ashley here is working with Tristan. They're playing a game, working on social skills, and as a reward, Tristan might get a tasty snack. Everybody has a motivation and it's really just kind of figuring out what that is to get them to want to interact with you and learn. While the simple theory can provide a benefit for anyone, it is especially helpful to kids like Tristan who have been diagnosed with autism. Research has shown that uh, ABA is the most effective therapy for kiddos with autism. So it's a, a science and a teaching methodology that we use as a medi medical treatment for kids with autism. <laughs> It was about the time he was around 13 months old. Um, he's a triplet, so his sisters were kind of plugging along, making progress as they developed, and I noticed that he was kind of lagging behind. Okay, raise your hand if you want to go first. Me! Okay. There were differences in his speech, whereas the girls were starting to talk to me, he wasn't. Um, there were differences in sensory things, things that he was doing that were just a little bit different that the girls wouldn't do. Along with visits to the speech, physical, and occupational therapists, Abby Rowland says this type of one-on-one -on -one care is also critical and costly. Can you show me a surprise face? Surprise! surprise! You'll just find that so many families out there are struggling just to in some cases put food on the table. So it's, it's a challenge every day. A state program provides services until the age of three for children with developmental delays. It's a great start for these guys because the earlier we start to help them, the better they're going to do later on. Um, but once they turn three, they're done with that. Um, and you kind of have to go on your own and find other avenues. Centers like the nonprofit MASK are a ray of hope for parents who are struggling financially to keep up with doctor visits. Really what we try and do as a support center is um, act as a resource as much as possible to the parents. I know they're nonprofit and they offer, for us specifically, we get discounted rates. My son's also on a partial scholarship, but they can't do those things without help from the community. They get donations to help them fund those things. Ooh, which sticker do you want? Oh, oh the moon. Okay. I just hope how many do we have? We have that one. as he grows, he's happy, that he knows how much he's loved, but that he will have as normal or as happy as a future that he can have. And we'll do everything and anything it takes to get that for him. You know, parents just want to do the best that they can for their kids. The Mask Center is focused on educating the community. So they offer free workshops to teachers, to parents, and to doctors. Kind of that holistic approach so that yes. if everyone has these uh, skills that they teach the kids then the kid doesn't get confused mm -hmm. and you know as you heard uh, the group is a, a nonprofit it's an, a nonprofit organization so they're looking for donations as well so we're going to link you to information on their services and yeah. how you can donate at our website so so, so so important when you mention that holistic approach that the teachers can come in too so that you know that for those children who are mainstream they know what behaviors to hold a child accountable for right. and which ones are a sensory issue mm -hmm. or something that they you know can't help but mm -hmm. maybe need a little accommodation i mean it works for all kids but especially for the autistic children it yeah. works even better all right great story thanks very much and again sure we'll put all that information at the hamptonroadshow.com